Hey YouTube, J Bug here. I uh, haven't made a video in a good while. I just want to make this video in reference to some game pickups I made. Um, last couple of weeks, uh, games that I picked up. Also, uh, this month's new uh, edition of Game Informer is out. Looks like uh, the Spike uh, Video Game Awards is coming out again December 10, 2011 live okay make sure you guys catch that hope I can catch it <clears throat> I don't know if I can I have to look at my schedule see if I'm working that day or that night um here's the games that I picked up every as everybody know I picked up Modern Warfare 3 okay this game was more for my son than myself it was I guess I bought it for his birthday actually um he beat it I mean he prestiged on it uh, within a few days that he got it, uh, he asked me to take it back, uh, and uh, pretty much I said no because um, you know I would uh, have lost about about thirty dollars on it if I had taken it back because GameStop was only going to give me thirty dollars for it. I bought it at Best Buy, and the reason I bought it at Best Buy was because I have the Reward Zone card, and I wanted to get credit towards that. And in GameStop, when you buy new games, I don't think you get as much credit on your uh, Game Pro card. So I bought it at Best Buy, and uh, if I had returned this to GameStop, they would have only gave me thirty dollars for it. So I said we'll keep it. And now, now that he's playing a little bit uh, more of it, um, he he's liking it more. So we we decided to keep it, uh, but he did pr already prestige on it. Um, he hasn't played the single player campaign mode and I don't think he's interested in finishing that. I played um, some co-op with uh, Juni30, Hybrid Gamer 30 last night uh, and it was a lot of fun. I'm going to tell you guys, I mean, you know, a lot of people dog and uh, put down the uh, Modern Warfare Call of Duty series but uh, there's a lot of fun factor in these games. A lot of fun factor in this game. Um, if you like playing co-op, this is, or you like to play multiplayer at home, split screen, or whatever, this is the game to have. Now, Battlefield 3 doesn't do that. Uh, Battlefield 3 does have co-op, but it does not have split screen, um, multiplayer, person to person. If you're sitting next to your buddy and you want to play split screen multiplayer, you, uh, you can't do it. It's a single player game only and multiplayer online only but um, good game the only thing like I said I was really dissatisfied with this game is the sound I hate the Call of Duty Modern Warfare series sound uh, from the very first to this very latest game I hate their sound the sounds of their guns and the explosions uh, sound muffled and weak I hate it I wish they would fix it or they would make it better. But they need to fire the sound man and get a new sound man. That's what they need to do. But next. Uh, next game. Uh, I went and actually my son said, well, return this game. Because he already prestiged on it. And he found that no one was really playing on it. He said that people said, well, you know, he said he didn't see a lot of people playing during the day. And I said, well, Dennis, well, you know, this this game's fairly new, and I'm sure it'll take a little bit of time for people to actually build up. So he asked me to go return Modern Warfare 3 and get Call of Duty Black Ops, which I never bought because, um, you know, after Call of Duty 4 and um, Call of Duty 2, Modern Warfare, uh... I really didn't want to keep buying the same game basically with a different story mode over and over again. Well, you know, this has a, you know, we all know that this is all different maps and of course different uh, perks and everything, but still, uh, basically it's the same, same, same game. I mean, same game as this, same game as this, same game as Modern Warfare 2, Modern Warfare Call of Duty 4. They're all the same game, except for they have a different story mode and different perks. 
and they all play about the same way with the slightly different of course you know uh control schemes uh, uh sometimes and and um they didn't have vibration function for the PS3 version until Modern Warfare 2 came out Call of Duty Modern Warfare a uh, Call of Duty 4 Modern Warfare didn't have vibration function I, I, uh, for the PS3 version, and there's a few differences between the games, but not not much of a difference. And the, and of course, the graphics has really not improved that much in between these games. Although I think this this graphics the graphics in this game has cleaned up a little bit, uh, but basically the level of graphics is about the same. But the sound. Like I said, in all of these games, I, I really don't like it. Third game that I picked up uh, just today. So this rounds it up for the last two weeks. That uh, Last two weeks, what I've gotten. UFC Undisputed 2009. And let me tell you, I, I was looking to get a fighting game. I was maybe going to get a a um you know Mortal Kombat old Mortal Kombat game or uh maybe Soul Calibur or something you know and then this caught my eye you know why this caught my eye right because it is only it was only $4.99 how can you beat that folks considering that UFC 2010 uh is like $17.99 this one here was only $4.99 and with my power up card uh I got almost like a a dollar discount and I pay I wound up paying like uh four dollars and thirty some cents or something. Ridiculous but <laughs> dirt cheap. Uh took the stickers off of it, cleaned it up with some alcohol. Case is brand spanking new. The disc has absolutely no scratches on it. It's basically a brand new disc uh you can't beat it i mean this I, I i love the fact that you know usually when you get used games especially as cheap as this one uh from gamestop the cases are all pitted and ripped and 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 dented and 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 um you know just horrible condition but this one here is just absolutely clean pristine i love it um the label is not wrinkly or anything. Now, I'm di totally disappointed with this one here because the plastic cover is just pitted and, and some of it is, some parts is like starting to rip. You can see that the label, it might not even be the real label, I don't know. It looks all wrinkled up and, and, and look like somebody's somebody got it wet at one time or something. And... Um, the disc is not in the in in the case. My son has it in the PS3. So, um, to be honest with you, I, I haven't really even examined the disc. Uh, as soon as I brought it home, my my son just took it from my hands and started playing it. So, um, but was totally disappointed with the condition of this case. Um, but it is what it is. Um, it'll go into the collection as is like that so these are the three games that I picked up in the past two weeks uh, I will make a gameplay video of this to give you guys a look at see and also give you maybe a first initial review of what this game is like but um, I did look at the, every game that I get from GameStop while I'm in the in the store or any other store. I I look it up on my Android phone uh, to see what kind of reviews it got. So and this game here actually got a B plus on GameRevolution.com, and uh, you know uh, that's a pretty damn good review. A B plus is a pretty damn good review. So. It can't be that bad of a game, but for four dollars and ninety nine cents, hell, you can't beat it. All right, thanks for watching. Catch you guys later.